How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 14 has just been revealed. We know it is the Donut Media themed update and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. Make sure to subscribe if you find this video helpful and drop a like. Let's get into it. I'm going to start off with the festival playlist, the new cars and all that jazz. Now as I said we know this month is Donut Media themed and obviously the festival playlist has a bit of Donut Media theme to it as well. If you don't know what Donut Media is go to YouTube type in Donut Media you'll see who they are and what it's all about. So every week this series Donut Media is serving up appropriately themed seasonal championships and weekly Forzathon challenges that are certain to be tasty. Their words, not mine. Look out for pop-up headlight races, money pit Miata races, high-low fair lady races, up to speed challenges and more. So let's have a look at the festival playlist itself. So for the full series, for 80 points you can get the Ferrari SF90 Stradale and for 160 points the Alpine A110. Oh, the first week, which is summer, which starts on the 10th of November. For 20 points, you can get the first new car of this month, the 2020 Link & Co Cyan Racing 2003. As said, this is one of the new cars. I'm pretty sure it's new to Forza as well. And for 40 points, you can get the Ascari KZ1R. In the Forza Don shop, you can get stuff like the Apollo IE, the six-wheeled Mercedes-Benz, a so cute emote, and the Donut Media Black Jumper. Now I'm going to post some screenshots on screen of the rest of the challenges available that first week. The second week, which is autumn, which is on the 17th of November, for 20 points you can get the next new car of this month, the 1965 Morris Mini Traveller, which is the second new car, as I just said. For the 40 points you can get the Ferrari 59 GTO. Over at the Forzathon shop that second week, you can get the Pagani Zonda R, the Koenigsegg CC8S, the Pinball Machine Horn, and the Donut Media HRS PRS Relaxed T. Here are some screenshots of the rest of the challenges that second week. On to winter, which is the third week, which starts on the 24th of November. For 20 points, you can get the next new car of this month, the 1946 Ford Super Deluxe Station Wagon. Not new to Forza car, but it is new to Horizon 5. And then for 40 points, you can get the Zembo ST1. The Forzathon shop that third week has the Bugatti EB110, the Aston Martin Vantage, the Pop and Lock Emote, and the Donut Media Grey Hoodie. Here's the rest of the stuff on that third week. fourth and final week which is spring I nearly had to think there which is on the 1st of December so that's leading into December for 20 points you can get the fourth new car of this month the 1953 Morris Minor Series 2 Traveller again not a new to Forza car but it's new to Horizon 5 for 40 points you can get the Porsche 911 GT3 RS from 2021 one of the newer ones the Forza on shop for that final week has stuff like the Maserati MC12 Corsa 720S Spider the Mechanical Whiz Horn and the Donut Media Leaf Cap. Here are the rest of the challenges on that fourth and final week. So that's the festival place. We can see there's four new cars, one per week. One of them is new to Forza, never seen before. The other three are new to the game. Horizon 5. There's a new Horizon story which is the Donut Media at Horizon. It is only available in single player and you cannot do it co-op with your friends. It's available from November the 10th. You can meet James and Nolan who are part of Donut Media who are on standby to provide radio comms as you take on a series of challenges that test your car and driving skills on the Donut Media test track. Okay, built exclusively for this Horizon story. At this test track, you can upgrade and test drive cars with the goal of transforming a muscle car, a retro sports car, into a rally machine. It's important that you've built the right car for the challenges ahead, as once you've committed to it, you'll need to prove that you made the correct car and upgrades as you put it to the limit over a series of challenges. The three cars that you can pick within this Horizon story are the 1993 Ford SVT Cobra R and the 1993 Nissan 240 SXSE and the 1977 Pontiac Firebird Trans AM. Now those are the only three cars we can use within this Horizon story and straight away what is interesting is we don't have any sight of any 
of the donut media cars, such as the high-low cars, um, the trucks, you know, all of the cars that Donut Media have on their channel, we were told we were going to get, but there is absolutely no sign of them whatsoever, other than festival playlist themed challenges that are around the similar concept, we don't actually get to drive them actual cars, so it's a bit disappointing. There is a little bit of good news and that is that the Donut Media update is going to be in two parts. This is part one and there will be a second part at some point. That won't be this month, it might be in December, it might be in January, February. At some point there will be a second Donut Media update in episode two and it is presumed that in episode two that is when we're going to get these high-low cars and all of the cars from the Donut Media channel. In addition to all of the Donut Media related things, there will be Donut Media themed clothing and Forza Link chat phrases which can be unlocked, while smashable donuts can be collected alongside Mexico's high-speed highway. Um, so we've got some Donut Media clothes and Donut Media Link phrases. We can see all of the Donut Media clothing items here, some of which can be bought from the Forzathon shop, and some of which are unlockable in other areas such as accolades. Accolades all to do with the Horizon story and we can see that some of the rewards are the legendary Donut Media clothing along with a Forza Edition Firebird Trans AM GTA. So new clothes, new links and new accolades all to do with Donut Media. Now as, of, as for Donut Media stuff in this update, that is pretty much everything. That's it. Yeah, it seems like there is going to be an episode 2 or a part 2 to this Donut Media thing. And that's when we're going to get the cars that we were sort of told we were going to get. There's more stuff in the update. We know that Rocket Bunny body kits are returning to the game. Rocket Bunny weren't in Horizon 5 at launch. They have finally been returned. We were hoping it would come. We didn't really have any idea, but it has come back. I've got a list on screen right now of all of the Rocket Bunny kits that will be available. And as far as I'm aware, if I'm correct, there aren't any new ones. If if any of these cars on this list didn't have a Rocket Bunny kit in one of the previous games, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm pretty damn sure that there isn't any new ones here. And I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. There has been some major PC improvements to do with ray tracing. I'm not going to read everything out that's on screen right now, but essentially they're doing some tweaks, making things look a bit prettier with RTX cards and stuff like that. And then in addition, they are also enhancing their DirectX ray tracing implementation on PC with two new presets, Ultra and Extreme which will render true to life reflections for a player car in free roam and races, as well as realistic driver tire reflections in photo mode. So essentially, you're gonna get a bit of ray tracing while driving around, not just in Forza Vista. What else is in the update? Well, we have a bunch of bugs, fixes, and improvements, as you can see on screen. There's a few key bugs and fixes noted here and there are a few sort of mini improvements that aren't really fixes just quality of life things now obviously there's probably going to be tons more bugs and fixes within this update just not noted here i may do a separate video on that if it is significant enough but as for the update that is pretty much everything as i said there will be the odd thing that isn't mentioned here i'm gonna be honest it's quite a disappointing update and not because we haven't got much but just because our i think our expectations were extremely high. Not only were we kind of told by Donut Media themselves that we were going to get to drive the high car and low car and all of their cars in Q4 of this year, which is almost ending. And along with that, you may remember this week we had a Torben Tuesday. And this Torben Tuesday is basically where we get clues for the update. And this is what we were given. We were given this whiteboard full of clues for about this update. And it looked really intriguing. There's lots of stuff on this board. There's a QR code that took us to a crossword. This crossword puzzle is sort of yet to be fully solved, but it just made the update look quite big and exciting. And it turns out we haven't really got much else. So I don't know, it's just quite disappointing to be honest. Along with the lack of new cars. Four new cars, three of which we've already had. Hopefully we should have a bit of a better update next. Part two for Donut Media is hopefully a lot better than this one. So pop it down in the comment section below your honest thoughts on this update. What do you think? I think it's okay. I will probably play it, but I think we expected a lot more. So leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. I'll see you all later.
Thank you.